everybody wants to make money with Amazon FBA. But the one question everyone keeps asking is, which is the best business model to get into? Now I covered this, talked about private label, wholesale, retail arbitrage, and online arbitrage in a previous video. I will link to that down in the description box below. However, for this video, I want to take wholesale and I want to take private label and compete with them head to head. Okay, so let's see which one is best for you right now. Let's go. Alright guys, what's going on? For those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Adam Snyder and I am the Homemade Entrepreneur. Before I get into the video and, com and really compare these one, you know, one on one, you know, back and forth, see which one is the best for you, I do have a link down below to get both, okay? And I actually have two links. There's two links down below. One is to get my wholesale course for 50% off. So it goes from $99 down to $49, okay? I'm going to give you that one. Plus, I'm going to give you a link to my private label course, normally $399 for just a little bit. I am offering for a $300 discount, okay? If you use the link down below, you get $300 off. So it goes from $399 down to $99. All right, so let's jump into the video. So which one is better? Wholesale or private label? really depends who you are, kind of the amount of money you have to work with, your uh, background, or your really where you want to take your business. So first off, I want to explain what are some of the benefits to wholesale. So here are just some of the benefits. Let me explain all these. First, it requires less upfront capital. What I mean by that is when you compare it to private label. With wholesale, you can get in with just a couple hundred dollars. You can buy from a wholesale supplier or a company or manufacturer, get the product sent to you, and you're off and running. With private label, you usually need a sample. You need to buy your UPC code. You need to set up your business. Okay, You need to get the products, and you need to have them shipped to you. There's five things right there. That doesn't even include packaging. That doesn't include pictures. That doesn't include the marketing. Okay, This is why wholesale requires less upfront capital. So if you have... Uh, a small budget you're working with or you're just getting started wholesale might be the way to go over private label second thing it's easier to see what items sell and this is what most people don't completely understand with wholesale what I do and what I teach inside my course is I show you how to go about finding the products that are currently being sold on Amazon and are selling at a decent rate so 5 10 20 units per day with private label you do not have that that benefit because you can see what other people are selling. However, with wholesale, you jump right on that listing. So you're piggybacking off of their success or their past success. So because of that, you don't have to worry about is it going to be a good product or is it going to be a bad product. You can see what sells and those are products you go after. Now, let me just explain. Most people, 99% of people, have a better understanding of doing research, are better at doing research than marketing. Okay, The 1% that is better at marketing this might not be the best option for you because with wholesale it really comes down to research the more research you can do and the better you are at doing research finding those products the more money or potential money you can potentially make now this is compared to private label where you need to be pretty good at research you're actually really good at research plus uh, marketing is a very important uh, trait that you have to understand if you don't understand marketing you're probably not gonna get your products sold Here's something I don't, I consider this a bonus. I don't consider this something that is a must. But with wholesale, most wholesale suppliers, you know, the company, the manufacturer, they offer a buyback option. So what this means is if you don't sell all your products, if you don't sell all your inventory, if you, for whatever reason, just need to get out from underneath it, you want to get, you know, recoup some of your costs, they will buy it back. Now, they don't buy it back at the cost that you paid for it, so that you don't get 100% of your money back. However, they may give you, you know, 70%. There'll probably be a 30% restocking fee, plus you got to pay for shipping, you know, to and from, okay? So, just understand there will be some costs involved, but if you completely fail, pick the wrong product, something happens, the economy collapses, you know, God forbid, whatever happens, okay? You potentially have a buyback option. You do not have that with private label. Another benefit with wholesale is quantity is the game. It's not necessarily quality of the listing, it's the quantity of the products that you can sell. And here is why I believe this is a benefit because for myself personally, I like to have a bunch of different products out there. 
okay I like to source in different ways and I do this because I don't like all my eggs in one basket when you do in wholesale or private label let's say take, take private label you have one product all your eggs are in this basket if for some reason Amazon says you can't sell that you're done there goes your basket if Amazon says you know okay you can sell it. however you need to get you know uh, it's a hazmat product all right so now I gotta figure that out or if somebody else jumps on that listing and now is taking over all your products or you have uh, you have a trademark uh, you're infringing on a trademark or a patent then your all your eggs in that basket are now broken cracked with wholesale you can go after a bunch of different products that's what I like it's all about quantity okay it's a numbers game and the last thing which you can see right here is the business can be sold and I put that under both because your business whether you're in wholesale or private label can be sold what I mean by that is when you have a wholesale business you can sell your contacts you can sell the relationships that you have built you can sell all your information plus the inventory that you have on hand you can sell that to somebody else okay so you can get out of the entire business just by selling it that's the same thing with private label you can sell your private label product you can sell your brand you can sell your Amazon account you can sell any websites you have associated with that brand so you can sell them either way which is a benefit in my opinion for either one let's talk about private label with private label you need more money up front but you have a huge income upside with wholesale you make less per unit however you can probably sell more units per day so there is the you know there's a balancing act there do you want to sell more and make less or would you rather sell less and make more same time you can make a lot of money but with private label you have a bigger upside than I do than you would with wholesale in my opinion because it's all about marketing get your product out there okay and for me I don't go and market my wholesale products because that's just me spending money on branding somebody else's company which I'd rather not do that okay the next benefit is you're building your own brand and when it comes to uh, selling a uh, business having a brand tied to it or associated with it is huge that's where you can get a lot of money okay you just look at like Nike okay if Nike were to sell and not include any of their products just have their logo the Nike name they could probably make a lot of money just from that because that's how big of a brand Nike is and here is some nobody tells you what you can and can't do in my opinion this is a huge benefit to private label over wholesale if you are getting into Amazon FBA selling on Amazon because you don't want to work for a boss you don't want somebody telling you you can't do that okay you need to do this well that's kind of the difference between wholesale and private label wholesale you do have uh, a lot of uh, leeway and you can do whatever you want in in a sense but when it comes to uh, map pricing okay where you have to stick to let's say the the company says you need to be at least twenty dollars okay and you can't be over 25 so you have to be in there so if for some reason Amazon cuts the price to 11.99 and you could still make money 11.99 but this company says you have to be at least twenty dollars that means you have to if you're not you're in breach of contract they can just you know close you out okay so you need to understand that that when you are buying from an actual company or manufacturer a lot of times they have uh, contracts that you need to sign you need to stick to whatever they say whatever they require when you're buying from a wholesale supplier which is different they don't always have that okay so you gotta understand that so with private label you don't have to answer to anybody okay yes you do have to uh, obviously operate under the uh, under the actual laws you can't be taking somebody's stealing somebody's patent their ideas uh, you know the trademarks you know logos all that stuff but you can do a lot more with private label than you can with wholesale in my opinion this is probably one of my favorite things is with uh, with private label it can be extremely passive with wholesale it's not so much uh, extremely passive because you are always making uh, you're always making a replenishment order okay and so that's what I do is I actually have a virtual assistant where she manages most of my accounts and so what she does is let me know okay where we only have 30 more units we're gonna need to get you know at least another 100 units or 150 units in there within the next week or else we're gonna sell out that's what she does with private label 
she pretty much does the exact same thing. However, we know that okay, we sell about you know eight unit eight uh, units of this per, this item per day. So okay, if we get you know 150, it's going to last us X amount of days. Okay, so we understand that. Now, when I say private label can be extremely passive, I mean this because I don't have to worry about doing a lot of replenishment orders. Okay, I make bigger orders. But this is also the problem with it is I make large orders, which which means I it requires a larger upfront cost, which that is why I like wholesale is because especially if you're new, getting in with wholesale is going to be a lot easier than getting in with private label. However, I recommend both, which is the reason why I gave you those two discount codes that you can you know click on the link down below and you can get both my private label course and my wholesale course for a deep discount. Another benefit is you can you price per unit is lower and this is usually the cost the the reason or the the for this is because I'm buying it from China okay with wholesale I'm buying most of the stuff either from the United States uh, Mexico or Canada that's those are the three places I buy uh, probably 90 90 let's say 92 percent comes from the United States about five percent comes from uh, Canada and then you got about three percent that comes from Mexico so you just gotta understand there are uh, I do buy from outside the United States but the majority of it is here inside the United States but with private label it's pretty much 98 percent is from China and about two percent is from the United States so just be aware of that price per unit is lower because I am buying stuff from in, in, in larger quantities outside the United States in a cheaper you know country like China where labor and you know material is pretty expensive and I have it shipped over lastly the business can be sold these are the differences between wholesale and private label so you can decide based on this plus based on what you've learned already which business is best for you now the one thing I know about Amazon FBA is it's always changing you know years ago retail arbitrage and online arbitrage were huge you're making a lot of money but as more and more people get in as the competition becomes more intense as people are trying to scam uh, Amazon out of money you know Chinese sellers people from other countries are creating listings trying to get people to buy it and potentially make money or I have no clue really what their angle is on it but Amazon's cracking down on that so it's because of that and because of those people that wholesale and private label are becoming more and more lucrative to people like you and I so pick which one you like maybe you like both if you have thought about getting into either wholesale or private label do it and do it now don't wait because it's only getting harder and harder the longer you wait. For me or for people that got in years ago, it's pretty easy because we have a lot of options. Our accounts are grandfathered in to sell certain brands uh, under certain uh, categories. We uh, don't have all those restrictions that, like newer accounts do. So get in, get in now. Also, if you've thought about getting into wholesale but you don't know where to go, don't know how to do it, go and get my course. Like I said, it's 50% off. Go and get it, okay? So it goes from $99 down to, I think, $49.50 or something like that, okay? 50% off. The private label course. I don't do this all the time, but, okay, if you want to get in, go and use the link down below, okay? It's going to save you $300. It takes it from $399 down to $99. So go and get it now. Don't wait, okay? If you have questions, ask your questions down in the comment section below. I'm here to help you in any way that I can. If you enjoyed today's video, want more videos on Amazon FBA, hit that thumbs up button, click the subscribe button, and also the notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next video.